Home Care Matters is a weekly focus on health tips, programs, services, and the ever-changing rules and laws administering health care, and is brought to you as a public service by the Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice. Now, Home Care Matters. If you currently do not exercise regularly, it's never too late to start a new year being more active. Here are five steps to follow. Step one, assess your fitness level. You probably have some idea of how fit you are. Assessing and recording baseline fitness scores can give you benchmarks to measure your progress. Consider recording your pulse rate before and after you walk one mile. How long it takes you to walk one mile. How many push-ups you can do at a time. How far you can reach forward while seated on the floor with your legs in front of you. Your waist circumference measured around your bare abdomen just above your hip bone. Your body mass index. Step 2. Design your fitness program. It's easy to say you'll exercise every day, but you'll also need a plan. Identify your goals. Are you starting a fitness program to lose weight? Do you have another motivation, such as preparing for a marathon? Clear goals can help you succeed. Create a balanced routine. Most adults should aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity and two or more days of strength training each week. Go at your own pace. If you're just beginning to exercise, it's important to start cautiously and progress slowly. Build activity into your daily routine. Finding time to exercise can be a challenge. To make it easier, schedule time to exercise as you would any other appointment. Include different activities. Different activities, also called cross-training, can keep exercise boredom at bay. Cross-training reduces your chances of injuring or overusing one specific muscle or joint. Allow time for recovery. Many people start exercising with frenzied zeal, working out too long or too intensely, and give up when their muscles and joints become sore or injured. Plan time between sessions for your body to rest and recover. Put it on paper. A written plan can help you stay on track. Join me here next week and we'll look at getting started and how to realistically monitor your progress. I'm Scott Fabry, and on behalf of everyone at Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice, I'd like to remind you, home care matters. See you again next week.